Today we will discuss a neat pattern question paper from plant kingdom and animal kingdom. First question heart shaped prothallus of fern bears. We know pteridophyte gametophyte is prothallus. Its shape is heart shape and this heart shaped prothallus it will be having some uh, uh, rhizoid structure that rhizoid it will be multicellular rhizoids will be present here and this prothallus it will be bearing the sex organ as antheridia and archegodia right so here we can see the heart shaped prothallus of fern fern prothallus it is monoecious because fern it produces homospores See, when the sporophyte of this pteridophyte in the sporangia, when they produce the spores, either they produce homospores or they produce heterospores. Generally, they produce homospores and very few species of this pteridophyte produces heterospores. The heterospore producing uh, pteridophytes example, Selaginella, Salvinia, Azola, Isoids, Isoids is there and we can see pilularia pilularia that produces the heterosporous uh, um, uh, uh, plant it is heterospores it will be producing okay so the pteridophyte which they produce homospores their prothallus it will be developed as monoecious condition means antheridia and archegonia will be produced in the same prothallus itself but heterosporous pteridophyte they produces the uh, one prothallus if it is producing the antheridia the other one will be producing the archegonia there are some heterospores uh, heterosporous pteridophyte they do not produce the prothallus also that is salvinia like a salvinia is an example for that salvinia they, they do not produce the prothallus itself okay so here once again i'll tell the pteridophyte gametophyte is heart shaped prothallus heart shaped prothallus bear the sex organ antheridia archegonia the question is about the fern fern bears fern prothallus it bears both antheridia and archegonia because of that we can call it as bisexual type of prothallus and this fern it is homosporous type of pteridoph pteridophyte heterosporous type of pteridophyte only will be dioecious condition they only will be produ producing the uh, unisexual um, prothallus okay so here the correct option it is bisexual next question most favorable land adaptation for reptile is most favorable land adaptation for reptile is the presence of scale on the body we know the reptile they have a cornified skin and scale on the body or scute scute is nothing but non glandular is their body they have very few glands that is for the oil secretion uh, that's it that will that also will be seen in uh, the thigh region of that okay so the scale on the body that will help in preventing the desiccation or dehydration so that is the most favorable uh, land adaptation for the reptiles okay so this is the correct option now pulmonary respiration pulmonary respiration it occurs in reptiles that also help in land adaptation but still scale on body that is the most favorable thing for this reptile to survive in the land next question in rixia or mercantia the rhizoids are rixia mercantia these two are coming under the bryophyte liverwort liverwort the characteristic feature of their rhizoid is they are unicellular unbranched so here the correct option is unbranched unicellular okay and in the case of moses they will be having branched multicellular rhizoid so here the correct option is unbranched unicellular rhizoid next question in the chlorophyta the reserve food of protein surrounded by starch form a compact body termed that is pyrenoid structure in the case of chlorophyte or in the case of the green algae we can see the food is stored in pyrenoid pyrenoid structure in which we can see the 
protein is surrounded by starch so the protein core and it is surrounded by starch that is pyrenoid paramyelum that is the storage food in euglena that is uh, the that is similar to starch paramyelum that is the stored food in euglena and that is similar to starch and volutin volutin it is the lipid droplets or we can say inorganic phosphate uh, and all will be stored in the case of certain bacteria as corny bacteria okay that is volatile eye spot eye spot is seen in the case of euglena euglena they have stigma structure where a lot of uh, pigments will be present like beta carotene okay so that region that will help in absorption of sunlight for the photosynthesis so eye spot that is a characteristic feature of euglena where it will absorb the sunlight volutin that is for the storage of uh, the lipid molecule in organic phosphate molecule like that in the case of bacteria paramyelum that is a stored food in the euglena that is similar to starch next question which one of the following is a non vascular embryophyte we know the plants which is which are non vascular are the thallophyta and bryophyta right and we have studied thallophyta or algae they undergo zygotic meiosis the meiosis of thallophyte is zygote right that zygote when it is forming immediately it will undergo meiotic division for the formation of the spores haploid spores so they are embryo less plants thallophyta is embryo less plants bryophyta they will produce the embryo because zygote it will undergo development in the form of a sporophyte we have studied on the gametophyte when the male gamete when it is coming and fusing with the egg of uh, uh, the female gametophyte or the archegonia there it produces the zygote zygote by depending on the uh, gametophyte it will undergo development in the form of sporophyte that sporophyte it has three different regions we have studied that is the food seta capsule so here this bryophyte they do not have the vascular tissue but they have the embryo so non vascular embryophytes are bryophyte this thallophyta are non vascular non embryophyte they are and pteridophytes are vascular embryophyte okay next question heterospore is found in heterospore is found in marsilia selaginella salvinia all of the above so these all it has a heterosporous development okay and in that salvinia they do not produce as the uh, prothallus we can see some more example as azola azola also will produce the heterospores and we can see isoids isoids they will produce heterospore pilularia that also produces heterospore so six different types of pteridophyte normally produces the heterospores they are these three and azola isoids and pilularia okay next question mosses and ferns are found in moist and shady places because both because both they require the water medium for the fertilization because we know these mosses and ferns both undergo zoidogamy they the male gamete it will be swimming towards the female gamete through the water so in the case of gametophyte of pteridophyte for their development what is needed moist condition condition is needed and that gametophyte only will be bearing the antheridium and archegonium so there the antherozoid has to swim to through the water because of that even though pteridophyte are as uh, uh, pteridophytes are true terrestrial plants it gametophyte need the moist condition for their survival that is the reason pteridophyte they will be uh, very limited way it will be distributed okay so mosses and ferns are found in moist shade place mo moist and shade places because both require presence of water for fertilization okay fern is nothing but the pteridophyte okay next question corolloid root is the feature of we have studied corolloid root is seen in cycas where the uh, sy symbiotic association of sign no bacteria is seen for the nitrogen fixation so here the cycus is correct answer and we can see the cycus corolloid root it is negatively geotropic and it will be green in uh, uh, color okay and this cycus corolloid root it is inhabited with anabina cyanobacteria anabina pinus they have a, they have an obligatory uh, uh, association with the mycorrhiza okay fungal association is there for the efficient absorption of phosphate 
Next question. One of the following characteristic is not the not the not correct for nematoda. We will see which are the characteristic. Nematode it is nothing but ascalminthus or nematalminthus like that we can say nematoda. So pseudocelomate. Yes, they are pseudocelomate. Round bomb is an example for that, right? And they are hermaphrodite. No, hermaphrod they are not hermaphrodite. They will not show hermaphroditism because the male and female it has given separately in our textbook and male it is small as compared to female right they are unisexual organism they are not hermaphrodite they are not bisexual organism next fixed number of cells in the body yes this nematode and all it show a characteristic feature of utility 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 means what you know they will be having fixed number of cells in their body once when they attain the maturity it will be having the fixed number especially in the somatic cells okay in the case of nematode and all utility it will be around thousand somatic cells will be there and hundreds of reproductive cells also will be present so fixed number of cells in the body that is a characteristic feature of nematode that is correct only and we can see this fixed number of cells when we are saying how that organism again when it has to grow how the growth it will occur you know by increasing the size of the cell utility which all organisms are following after attaining the maturity if further growth if it is there for that particular organism it will undergo growth for only uh, uh, the cytoplasm it will not undergo cytokinesis okay so fixed number of cells in the body that is a character of nematode elongated cylindrical body yes they have elongated cylindrical body with a pseudo -silo. okay so here the wrong option it is hermaphroditism next question which one of the following is a cartilaginous species see here dogfish silverfish crayfish starfish dogfish it is also called as coleodon which are the uh, cartilaginous fishes or chondrichthys or elasmobranchi we are saying uh, cartilaginous uh, cartilaginous fishes are also represented with chondrichthys or elasmobranchi right and which all are examples for that coleodon dogfish dogfish are also called as indian shark pristis it is also called as sawfish okay then carcharodon that is great white shark that is also example for the um, uh, cartilaginous species trigon stingray that is also example for cartilaginous species torpedo electric ray that is also example for the cartilaginous species okay so here dogfish or scoliodon that is an example here silverfish it comes under the arthropoda it is a kind of insect when we lift this uh, um, see in the moist wall and all now when we lift the calendar and all if it is hanging on the wall when we lift a small insect like something like a small cockroach without uh, wings it will be there now that is called as silverfish crayfish is there crayfish is also a kind of crustaceans like uh, what to say it look like uh, the crab okay starfish starfish it is nothing but echinodermata so here the correct option is dogfish next question which of the following is or are grouped under phenerogams phenerogams means the seed producing plants so the seed producing plants are gymnosperm and angiosperms right so here both one and two is the correct option now you see pteridophyte they pteridophyte in that the heterosporous pteridophyte they sh they shown the uh, pr uh, precursor of the seed habit or they uh, started they are the precursors of the seed habit we can say heterosporous pteridophyte but the clear seeds it is seen in gymnosperm and angiosperm next question crocodile heart is Cro crocodile heart it is four chambered see crocodile heart even if even if it is four chambered like it has two atria and two ventricle these two atria no it is having some uh, uh, connection in between means they are there the blood is getting mixed here because of that hole present in between these two atria that is called as the foramen of panisa foramen of panisa so here foramen of panisa that is a characteristic feature of crocodile we can say next question 
uh, see two chamber single chambered heart it is not present in the organism three chambered heart it is present in amphibians and reptiles two chambered heart it is present in the fishes next question which of the following does not have any elementary canal elementary canal is completely absent in the group of platyelminthes in cestoda group of platyelminthes this tinea solium or tapeworm that comes under the cestoda okay so tinea solium or tapeworm there the uh, complete uh, this one uh, elementary tract it is absent okay so here when we study platyelminthes there are three majorly three different groups are there that is turbellaria trematoda and cestoda in that turbellaria that is free living uh, uh, flatworm it is example for this is dugesia like that uh, planaria these all are the uh, uh, turbellaria group of uh, platyelminthes this okay trematoda all flukes will come there like fasciola or liver fluke that is trematoda here in our textbook they have given two examples like tinea and fasciola so tinea tapeworm that comes under one group and fasciola that is liver fluke that comes under another group okay so this liver fluke or fasciola that comes under trematoda and we can see cestoda that is commonly it is known as tapeworm okay they are endoparasite and we can see the digestive system is complete is completely absent in them because they absorb the nutrients from the host directly through their body surface okay and there are different types of uh, uh, tinea tinea solium echinococcus uh, granulo granulosus like uh, uh, tinea tinea solium means that pork type worm it is tinea solium echinococcus uh, um, uh, granulosus that is dog type worm okay so uh, those organisms those kind of platyelminthes they do not have a clear um, elementary canal frog earthworm and all they have elementary canal next question cuttlefish is a member of cuttlefish is a member of mollusca you see cuttlefish octopus squid these all are cephalopod mollusc okay so here this octopus cuttlefish squid and all that is edible okay octopus it will be bigger as compared to squid and uh, cuttlefish octopus and uh, cuttlefish squid these all can be recognized by this uh, octopus it will be having eight tentacle but squid and uh, cuttlefish it will be having 10 tentacle okay and their the the um, uh, uh, the speed of the movement also will be varying in this group of organism but they almost look similar okay they comes under the mollusca that is cephalopod mollusca what is cephalopod the uh, leg present on the head those kind of organisms we will call as cephalopod next question match items in column 1 with those given in column 2 limbless reptile limbless reptiles are snake snake they do not have limbs now jawless vertebrate jawless vertebrate are cyclostomata jawless fishes are there no that is lamprey is an example for this we have studied jawless vertebrate cyclostomata circular mouthed fishes there we have studied two examples like petromyzen or lamprey myxine or hagfish okay so here this group of organism they have 6 to 15 pairs of gill slit which is not covered by the upper column and in the case of chondrichthyes is also they do not have upper column okay gill slits it is uh, separate only 5 to 7 pairs of gill slits are there 6 to 15 pairs of gill slit in the case of cyclostomata or the jawless fish in the case of chondrichthyes or in the cartilaginous fishes we can see 5 to 7 pairs of pairs of gill slit without upper column okay now amphibians example salamander salamander that is uh, uh, a kind of amphibian which is having the tail even after the development means in the mature stage also and this salamanders they will undergo internal fertilization they will undergo they are viviparous type of organism we can say because see here the male they will re, they will release the sperm outside the media but the female they will collect this sperm through their cloacal lip and they will undergo internal fertilization okay and they will give they will take care of that egg fertile egg till it get hatch out that kind of amphibian it is salamander and salamander larva is axolotl larva okay axolotl larva tadpole we will say in the case of frog no salamander it is axolotl larva
okay now cartilaginous fishes ex fishes example shark flightless birds example ostrich so here the correct option is 3 next question venom of cobra attack on which of the following system cobra venom it attack the nervous system cobra venom it attack the nervous system respiratory system it will be attacked by crate crate and we can see the um, crate and all if it is uh, biting what will happen you know our muscles it will become uh, weak when the muscle will become weak our respiratory system also will be affected because our respiratory system inhalation and exhalation process it occurs by the contraction and relaxation of certain muscles now circulatory system it will be affected by another type of uh, uh, snake that is viper okay now Next question, zygote of organism developed after syngamy undergoes meiosis to form the haploid spores, means zygotic meiosis, that divide mitotically and form gametophyte, that spore, haploid spore, it undergo mitotic division to produce the uh, complete organism. The organism must have which of the following life cycle, okay. that is having haplontic life cycle about which organism they are talking they are talking about the thallophyte thallophyte they have haplontic life cycle because they they are gametophyte when they produces the gamete which is haploid when it undergo fertilization it produces the diploid zygote this diploid zygote undergo meiosis to produce the haploid spores only that zygote alone is seen as diploid condition then this haploid spores again it is developing as the complete organism so here the correct option is 2 next question egg dyson is produced by egg dyson is a hormone which is produced in insect that is produced from the prothoracic gland it will help in metamorphosis metamorphosis means the development of the larval stage okay see here the corpora alata corpora alata that is a gland present in the insect it will secrete the juvenile hormone this juvenile hormone what it is doing you know it will help this insect to stay in the juvenile period major juvenile hormone it is neotenin neotenin that is the major juvenile hormone we can say this neotenin it will help in this help this larva to stay in the larval stage itself until its maturity once this uh, uh, organism undergo maturity means uh, uh, the metamorphosis when it started uh, uh, showing or the nymph stage from there when it is undergoing development by the time this corpora alata it allowed alata that gland it will get suppressed and the juvenile hormone production will be stopped so here here, this is just slowing down the metamorphosis prothoracic gland secretion secreting agdison will increase the metamorphosis corpora cardiaca that is another gland that will uh, induce this prothoracic gland for the production of agdison okay so here the correct option is prothoracic gland next one an intermediate host is absent in case of parasite intermediate host is not present in ascaris ascaris where it is seen in the case of uh, um, human beings it produces ascariasis it is uh, getting inside the human body through the contaminated food and water liver fluke liver fluke it comes under platyalminthes and it com comes under the uh, uh, group uh, trematoda and there we can see this liver fluke it, its intermediate host as snail snail tapeworm tapeworm there are uh, the intermediate host it is uh, pig or uh, uh, beef or something like that those kind of organism will be the intermediate host of tapeworm plasmodium has an intermediate host that is uh, the mosquito okay so here the correct option is ascaris next question leaves in cycles show Cycus it is a xerophytic plants. So cycus leaves it will be having sunken stomata, it will be having thick cuticle and it will be having a um, uh, what to say needle like leaf to reduce the transpiration. So those kind of adaptation it is xerophytic characteristic feature. So here the correct option is 1. Next question, an animal having pentaductile limbs without claws belongs to the class. Animal having pentaductile limbs without claws or nails that is seen in amphibia. Right? Reptiles they have claws. 
mammalia they have aves also have claws or nails right and we can see here in the case of amphibians we can see four limbs will be with the four digit and the hind limbs it is with the five digits okay so here amphibia is the correct option next question an animal with the metameric segmentation or metamerism is the earthworm annelid because they have a true metamerism because of that metamerism only because of that annules only that phylum is named as annelida okay uh, and these all organism they do not have a true segmentation of their body next question if a bird is transferred from 30 degree celsius to 10 degree celsius the body temperature will change to we know this bird is homeothermic organisms they will maintain their body temperature constant so here whatever be the temperature outside they will maintain their temperature 30 degree celsius okay so they will remain unchanged that change to not 30 degrees Celsius it changed to like that when they uh, when they ask you should not write that exact temperature it should remain unchanged so here 4 is the correct option next question thallus of rixia is we know rixia it comes under the bryophyte that is coming under liverwort and bryophytes are gametophyte major plant body of uh, this one uh, uh, bryophyte it is thallus thalloid plant body they have so they their uh, thallus of rixia it will be haploid in nature so haploid is the correct option next question animal which passes water current through its body for food is that is by that is seen in sponges sponges they will be having a water water canal system and that is called as the spongosil which is covered by the special cells called as cyanocyte when the water is taking inside through the ostia and when it is passing out through the osculum it while entering this water with that the food will be entered inside or nutrients will be entered inside that nutrients it will be collected and it will be undergoing intracellular digestion inside the cyanocyte then after that the waste product it will be simply removed to that uh, spongosil or it will be removed to that water canal and from there it will be removed out through the osculum so here the correct option is sponge next question without exception all birds have all birds are see here fe feathers and fly all birds will not be able to fly omnivorous no S there are some seed eating birds also from form nest and care them all uh, birds will not uh, form the nest okay and this cuckoo bird is there no coil that will not produce the they will they will not make the nest so that is also not correct they have calcareous shelled egg yes that is the reason that is evolved as the terrestrial organism okay so here they have calcareous shelled egg next question tubular heart of cockroach has how many chambers in its heart we know the tubular heart of the cockroach it is present in the dorsal part of their body and it consists of 13 chambers so 13 is the correct option next question petromycin belongs to petromycin we already said petromycin it is also called as lamprey and that belongs to the cyclostomata cyclostomata tomato is nothing but jawless fishes aknatha okay so aknatha where the petromycin comes petromycin is also called as lamprey another example for this aknatha or cyclos tomato that is uh, mixine or hagfish next question pneumatic bones are found in pneumatic bones are nothing but the bone inside that air cavity will be there bones are not having the bone marrow those that is the characteristic feature of the PGN or not PGN it is the characteristic feature of birds so here this bird it is PGN so here the correct option is PGN next question cyanocytes perform cyanocyte what it will perform we studied already the sponge when, we, when I said I said the cyanocyte that line the spongosil that will help in intracellular digestion right so here it will help in nutrition excretion it will occur through that uh, what to say the um, uh, um, uh, excretion 
evaporation it will occur through that water canal system is there no through that it will be occurred water when it is entering the food will be gathered and the waste it will be removed out through the osculum through the with water itself reproduction that occurs by a sexual reproduction by budding we can say and the sexual reproduction that is by their hermaphrodite organism they will just uh, 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 undergo fusion male and female gamete it will undergo fusion inside the body itself okay and we can see the sec the secretion of spicules that is produced the spicule formation spicule is nothing but the uh, skeleton of the sponges okay so the skeleton of the sponge spicule or spongin fibers those are produced by a special cell called as sclerocyte so here the correct option it is nutrition because it will help in intracellular digestion next question rana tigerinum is a zoological name of frog correct now rana tigerinum that is the zoological name of frog garden lizard what is the zoological na name you know garden lizard is callot versicolor okay callot versicolor crate the scientific name is or the uh, zoological name is bangaris b a b sorry b u n g a r u s bangaris c a u sorry c a e r u l e u s cerulius okay Bang bangare cerulius that is the uh, zoological name of this rana uh, sorry uh, crate and tiger it is panthera tigris we are studying that right next question the phylum of comb jelly is comb jelly it is coming under the phylum tenophora we know comb jelly it has a, a, the, the comb plates with the cilia that will help in locomotion of this group of organism okay so this tenophora that is a minor phylum and we can see eight external rows of ciliated comb plates that will help in its locomotion okay so here it is coming under tenophora tenophora it is a minor phylum and this tenophora it show bioluminescence okay next question cycus resembling angiosperms in having cycus they have the angiosperms and cycus it shows similarity motile sperm motile sperm it is present in cycus but it is not present in the angiosperm uh, circinate vernation in leaves a yes, circinate vernation it is present in cycus but it is not present in angiosperm what is this circinate vernation see the leaf when it is producing in the young part of the leaf the leaf it will be curled like this in such a way the new leaf formed the leaf will be protected that is called as circinate type of vernation okay that is seen in the uh, 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 cycus vessels it is present only in the uh, only in the angiosperm it is not present in the gymnosperm so cycus it does not have a cell ovule both of them have ovule uh, megasporangia that is a common character in both cycus as well as in angiosperm cycus in that the megasporangia it is present in megasporophyll but uh, still ovule it is present angiosperm will be having the ovule inside the ovary ovary it is absent in the case of uh, uh, cycus but still ovule structure is almost similar in both of them okay next question a list of animals is given below identify the animal with the open circulatory system and choose the correct answer acidia acidia actually it comes under uh, the acidia it comes <coughs> acidia it comes under the urocodata urocodata it comes under the codata right so their codata and all they have closed circulatory system they have open circulatory system note this so this is having closed circulatory system cockroach arthropod this is having open circulatory system earthworm earthworm they have a closed circulatory system prawn prawn it, it is coming under arthropod so that also has open circulatory system silverfish it comes under the uh, arthropod so that also has open circulatory circulatory system and snail snail actually it comes under mollusk it is known cephalopod mollusk so known cephalopod mollusk they have open circulatory system so this is also uh, correct squid squid is a cephalopod mollusk so that also has 
closed circulatory system. So here the correct option is BDEF. BDEF3 is the correct option. Okay. Next question. Echinodermata is a group of animal which are echinodermata that is starfish. They, are, they have a silo. They are true silomate or u silomate. True silom itself two different types are there. Okay, schizosilom and uh, eusilom. Schizosilom it is still the uh, 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 mollusca. Then after that echinodermata it will be uh, eusilomate. And hemicodata, codata all organisms are eusilomate. And they have spiny body and they are marine. Okay, so here silomate, spiny and marine. Horny means they have they will be having the horn, it seems. They do not have any horns and all. Okay. And this echinodermata group, starfish, they show the radial symmetry. That radial symmetry it is pentaradial symmetry. That pentaradial symmetry, we, we can divide the body of these organisms in its adult stage into two uh, sorry, five uh, equal parts. Uh, uh, when the division is passing through the center region in uh, five different planes we can divide this uh, starfish into uh, equal halves okay and in the larval stage they show the bilateral symmetry so here the correct option is coelomate spiny and marine next question female sex organ in funaria is called as female sex organ in funaria is archegonium male sex organ in funaria it is antheridium uh, paraphysis is nothing but a sterile thread like structure which is present in the reproductive structure of this uh, bryophyte fungus and all okay so paraphysis it is a sterile structure a sterile thread like structure it is oospores are nothing but the zygote of uh, lower organisms like fungus and all and antheridium that is the male reproductive structure Next question, formation of a sporophyte from gametophyte and vice versa is termed as. See, formation of a sporophyte from gametophyte. That means, the in the case of, uh, what to say, in the case of this uh, uh, sporophyte which is formed from the gametophyte in bryophyte. In the case of bryophyte, we can see that. And gametophyte, it will be produced from the sporophyte. See, gametophyte formation, that is nothing but the... Um, uh, uh, pollen grain formation or the embryo sac formation that is a gametophyte which is produced from the sporophyte right so that is seen in the alternation of generation in the sexual reproduction itself in alternation of generation we can see the formation of sporophyte from gametophyte formation of gametophyte from the sporophyte so that is seen in alternation of generation alternation of generation it is present in the case of sexually reproducing organism okay but this process is alternation of generation next question which of the following is considered as more evolved see monocot plant dicot plant that are incomplete both one and two we have studied in the evolution monocot plants it is evolved after dicot plant so this is most evolved plant monocot plant next question retrogressive metamorphosis found in retrogressive metamorphosis it is present in eurocodata eurocodata like uh, uh, acidia salpa doliolum those kind of organisms no they will be showing the larval stage they will be showing the motility but when they are becoming adult they will lose they will become sedentary they will they will lose the motility so it show a kind of retrogressive development we can say so eurocodata they show retrogressive development means some characteristic feature they are losing during the development okay that is the reason we are saying they are showing retrogressive development next question choose the correct option gorilla chimpanzee man and monkey belongs to the same see these all are coming under the same order primata right so these all are coming under the same order primata because these all organism they show menstrual cycle as reproductive cycle next question which of the following is aquatic and free floating fern see the uh, the ferns like azola salvinia these all are very small aquatic ferns they are they both are free free floating okay and azola salvinia they both produces the heterosporous uh, uh, heterospores and uh, salvinia they do not have the uh, prothallus also so here the correct option is both one and two next question heart of fishes is we know they have two chambered heart we know the heart of fish it is like this one auricle and when one ventricle see this fish when it is taking the oxygen from the gills they will take the oxygen from the gills and they will be distributed 
distributed throughout the body because they are not in a vertical position they are lying down in a horizontal position so this blood can easily flow and reach to each and every part of the body there what it will do it will distribute the oxygen to each tissues and they will collect the carbon dioxide from there and they will uh, bring this deoxygenated blood back to the heart so from the heart this blood it has to pump in same direction so the heart of the fish it will deals with only deoxygenated blood and this deoxygenated blood it goes to the gills region to collect the oxygen after collecting the uh, oxygen it will be moving to each and every part of the body means it will not come back to the heart so the heart of the fish it deals with only deoxygenated blood and that showed single circulation where we can see a single atria and single ventricle heart inside that the deoxygenated blood only will be coming uh, and oxygenated blood it will be simply flowing through the body okay so here two chambered is the correct answer for that next question protonema is found in the life cycle of protonema it is seen in the case of mosses an example for mosses is funaria okay so protonema primary protonema secondary protonema and leafy stages these all are the characteristic feature of this uh, bryophyte mosses mosses an example it is funaria okay so here the correct option is funaria we know escherichia coli that is a bacteria and rhizopus that is uh, mm, uh, uh, what to say phycomycetes group of fungus spirogyra that is an algae okay protonema that is a bryophyte uh, sorry uh, funaria that is a bryophyte the protonema is a character of bryophyte next question the basis of seed habit in salaginella is retention of a megaspore in the cord this is one reason then heterospore that is another reason reduction in the number of megaspores yes see megasporangia in that megaspore when it is producing only one megaspore will be remaining okay only one megaspore will be present inside the megasporangia that is reason reduction in the number of megaspore so all of these are the basis of seed habit in salaginella next question give give the correct match in the following flame cells flame cells are the excretory organ present in the uh, uh, plati helminth so here it is planaria now collar cells collar cells are also called as coanocyte that is a characteristic feature of sponges stinging cell cells stinging cells are present in the cnidarians example hydra stinging cells that is nematocyst okay nematocyte uh, uh, it produces a kind of stinging type of st uh, chemical from that that is that cells are called as stinging cells so here a matches with r b with the p and c with uh, q so here the correct option it is okay four next question which one of the following belongs to vascular cryptogam cryptogam means seedless plants vascular means they have xylem and phloem so here the uh, xylem and phloem is present in bryophyte but they do not have the they uh, sorry xylem and phloem it is present in pteridophyte i'm sorry bryophyta they do not have vascular bundles okay xylem and phloem it is present in pteridophyte and they do not have the seed so here the correct option is pteridophyte you see bryophyta are non vascular cryptogia gymnosperms are vascular phenerogams angiosperms are also vascular phenerogams next question in which of the following groups would you place a plant which produces seeds but lack flower and fruit see the plant which produces the seeds but they do not have the flower and fruits that is gymnosperms okay pteridophytes actually they do not produce the seeds fungus they do not have the seed and all they will be producing just a spores bryophyte they do not have the vascular uh, uh, bundle as well as the uh, uh, flower fruit seed anything next one meiotic division in zygote take place in we said already zygotic meiosis it occurs in thallophyta or in algae right so pteridophyte and all meiosis it occurs in the sporangia containing spore mother cell gymnosperm in which the the microsporangia contain microspore mother cell megasporangia contain my megaspore mother cell angiosperm also the same way next question in oogamy fertilization involves oogamy means the fertilization in between a large non motile female gamete and a small motile male gamete right so that is uh, uh, oogamy so here the correct option is one next question 
tube feet are the characteristic structure of tube feet that is character that is a characteristic feature of starfish starfish they have the tube feet this radula is the feeding organ present in the uh, mollusk okay next question the microsporophyll so here the correct option is mantle okay the microsporophyll of cycas represents a microsporophyll of cycas means microsporangia bearing leaf is microsporophyll microsporangia bearing uh, structure in the case of angiosperm that is stamen correct now so here a antrium single unit stamen it will be having filament filament and anther anther inside that the microsporangia is present so micro Microsporangia bearing cells uh, leaves microsporophyll. Microsporangia bearing structure in the case of uh, um, uh, angiosperms that is stamen. So here stamen is the correct uh, uh, correct option. Male gamete that is the generative cell present inside the pollen grain. Pollen grain is the male gametophyte. Pollinium is a the male uh, sorry male gametophyte pollen grain which is produced inside a sac like structure in the case of Calotropis. Pollinium that is a characteristic feature of Calotropis where a uh, sac full of pollen grain will be liberated that is called as pollinium. Next question which of the following contains xylem vessel? Xylem vessel is a characteristic feature of angiosperm. Only some gymnosperms as Neatum, Velvicia, Ephedra, these three groups only has this vessels okay otherwise it is a characteristic feature of angiosperm next question algal zone is characteristic of algal zone it is the characteristic feature of the corloid root of cycas corloid root of cycas we said already it has the associate it has a symbiotic association of anabena okay next question a root of pinus and it will be having mycorrhizal association okay next question match column 1 with column 2 and select the correct option from the given below column 1 spirogyra spirogyra that is a filamentous algae that comes under chlorophyceae so here spirogyra it match with filamentous then chlamydomonas chlamydomonas is a microscopic unicellular algae that is also are coming under chlorophyceae Volvox it is a colonial algae and that is also coming under chlorophyceae. Volvox that is cenobium. Okay, like it will be having uh, uh, always it will be having uh, uh, a fixed number of cells in that colony. Next one is some giant marine algae. They are kelp. They comes under uh, pheophyceae or brown algae. A biggest brown algae that is macrocystis. Okay, so here the correct option is A2, B1, C3 a2 b1 c3 d4 so here the correct option is 1 next question protonema is protonema is a structure of bryophyte which is developed from which is developing from the uh, spore of that particular uh, plant so here the juvenile phase of the most gametophyte so mosses will produce this protonema and mosses before attaining the reproductive capacity the vegetative phase where the spores from where the new plant which is produced that is called as the protonema okay so here first one is the correct option next question the class of phylum codata to which bat belongs bat it is a mammal because they have the mammary glands okay they they are coming under mammalia okay even though they are they are flying type of organism they have the characteristic feature of mammalia they give birth to young one as well as they give uh, nourishment to young one with their mammary glands next question animal group with the rip uh, pseudocelom is animal group with the pseudocelom is ascalminthus or nematelminthus or nematoda so here the correct option is ascalminthus annelid they have a true coelom that is uh, the schizocelom mollusk also has schizocelom true coelom and echinodermata they have true coelom but they are eucelomate okay is not eucelomate endrocelomate uh, sorry schizocelom and endrocelom okay that true coelom is eucelomate uh, echinodermata they are endrocelomate in before that also i instead of endrocelom i used eucelom i think you just correct it okay that is endrocelom 
Next question. Gamma are vegetative reproductive structure found in. Gamma are the reproductive structure which is present in bryophyte. It is seen especially in Marcantia. It is an external bud, multicellular green colored photosynthetic bud. It is the uh, uh, gamma. It is present inside the gamma cup. Next question. In dash phyla, the adult show radial symmetry while the larval show bilateral symmetry. We know in the case of starfish, echinodermata, the adult it show penda radial symmetry and the larva it show bilateral symmetry. It show penta radial symmetry because they have five tube feet for their locomotion. Okay. Because of that, this five tube feet it to equally divide, they can divide that organisms into five uh, uh, through five different planes, but the division it has to be passed through the center. That is the reason it is called as penta radial symmetry. Okay. Next question. Clitellum of ferritima is thick girdle that is uh, that is glandular around 14 to 16 segment okay it is present in 14th 15th and 16th segment that region this is glandular because it will synthesize the utica that is that will help in storing the uh, fertile egg okay so glandular around 14 to 16 segment where clitellum we can see clitellum that is a characteristic feature of earthworm clitellum it is present in the leech only during the breeding season next question heterothalism heterothalism means the uh, uh, what to say the male gamete and female gamete it is produced structurally it will be even though it is similar but it will be showing some functional differences or both structural and functionally it will be different that is called as heterothalism okay male and female gamete will be entirely different that's it so here the correct option is fusion between morphologically similar strain no fusion is not accompanied with a zygote formation no fusion between the strains of structurally similar and physiologically different this is correct okay so three is the correct option next question female ascaris is different differentiable from male in the female ascaris they will be having a straight posterior end see female ascaris it is big okay so it will be having a structure like this and in the case of male ascaris when we see male ascaris it will be having a structure like this it will be having a curve like structure at the posterior end the male so female ascaris is differentiable from male in the straight posterior end is the correct option okay next question Megasporophyll of cycas is homologous to megasporophyll means megasporangia carrying structure that is that is equal to the pistil or the carpel present in the case of angiosperm. So carpel it consists of stigma, style and ovary. Ovary inside that the ovule, ovule inside that uh, what to say the megasporangia will be present. Uh, sorry, ovule itself is the megasporangia. So ovary inside that the megasporangia will be present. Here the same structure like the um, uh, megasporangia sporophyll in that the megasporangia is present okay so next question the peculiar pungent smell of cockroach is produced by the secretion of the pungent smell of cockroach it is produced by pheromones the pheromones which is secreted in the male or female cockroach that is for attracting the opposite sex okay so here the correct uh, correct option it is pheromones next question triploid condition is only present in triploid condition it is present only in the endosperm of the angiosperm so here the correct option is angiosperm endosperm of gymnosperm it is haploid in nature okay triploid condition it is present in the endosperm of angiosperm next question which of the following features would distinguish a monocot from a dicot plant monocot plant and dicot plant it has it it will be having a lot of uh, variation okay if we see the leaf of this one leaf it will be showing isobilateral symmetry in the case of monocot dorsiventral leaf in the case of dicot and the venation or the vein arrangement in the leaf in monocot it will be parallel dicot it will be reticulate venation okay so here the correct option it is venation what is this vernation vernation is nothing but the arrangement of leaf inside the leaf bud that is called as vernation 
okay and what is aestivation aestivation is arrangement of sepals or, or petals that is called as aestivation that will be that will not be having too much difference to understand which is monocot and dicot which is dicot okay and phyllotaxy phyllotaxy means arrangement of the leaf it is uh, the leaf arrangement in monocotyledonous plant and dicotyledonous plants will not show much much variation as in venation okay so here the correct option is venation in the case of monocot they show parallel venation and dicot they show uh, uh, reticulate venation next question blood of earthworm is red because its hemoglobin is its hemoglobin is dissolved inside the plasma it is not present inside the cell so we can say here the hemoglobin here in this organism is intercellular intercellular hemoglobin next question in the life cycle of which group flagellated cells are not formed in the life cycle of which group flagellated cells are not formed flagellated motile stage is not present in the case of rhodophyceae chlorophyceae pheophyceae and all they have the motile structure so here the correct option is rhodophyceae this is very very important okay the non motile algae non motile algae it does not have any uh, locomotory structure that is called as that uh, that comes under the group rhodophyceae next group uh, next question vessels and companion cells are characteristic feature of vessels and companion cells are present in the uh, angiosperm it is not present in the gymnosperm pteridophyte or ferns ferns are nothing but the pteridophyte okay next question match column 1 with column 2 and select the correct option from the uh, uh, codes given below food the algae which is used as food are porphyra laminaria agar agar is obtained from the red algae gelidium gracilaria algin algin is the outer uh, uh, part of the cell wall of pheophyce so the, the correct option is brown algae Keragenin. Keragenin that is a polysulfate ester it is sulfur containing structure it is that is present in the case of red algae so here the correct option is a2 b3 c1 a2 b3 c1 d4 so here the correct option is 1 next question locomotion in earthworm is directly facilitated by the directly it is facilitated by the ct and contraction of the segments we know they their body is divided into many segments that all segments it will be having a ridge like structure at its center that is called as the ct so that ct and uh, uh, the uh, an annular segments or the segment which is able to contract because it is made with uh, some muscular tissue okay so that is the reason it is uh, um, uh, locomotion is directly uh, uh, directly uh, uh, facilitated uh, by the uh, ct and contraction of the segment so one is the correct option next question one of the special characters of cylindrata only is the occurrence of the special character of cnidarians of cylindrata is their stinging smell producing cells it is that is nematocyst okay uh, nematocyst that is the special character of cylindrata or cnidaria okay oh sorry next question an angiosperm differs from a gymnosperm by possessing angiosperm will be having a xylem vessel gymnosperm it will be angiosperm and gymnosperm both will be having ovule okay xylem vessel it is present only in the case of angiosperm next question have capacity of absorbing water used to replace cotton and used as a fuel is in the case of bryophytes bryophyte the sphagnum they have the capacity of absorbing water because they are hydrocolloidal in nature because of that it is used for packaging and it can be used as a fuel after drying it okay so here the sphagnum is the correct option sphagnum that is coming under the mosses okay next group mosses it is bryophyte next question which of the following is not the feature of gymnosperm xylem with the vessels that is not the feature of gymnosperm distinct branches they also have the branches long and short branches are there perennial plants they are perennial plants only parallel venation yes gymnosperm mostly they have the parallel venation okay so here xylem vessels it is not a character of gymnosperm next question canal system is a characteristic feature of canal system water system water canal system it is present in sponges okay the water vascular system it is present in the case of uh, 
uh, echinodermata or starfish okay so here sea anemone that comes under the uh, um, uh, cnidarians sea urchin that comes under echinodermata okay next question bilateral symmetrical but acelomate animal is bilateral symmetrical acelomate acelomate animal with the organ level of body organization that is platyel minthus so here one example it is liver fluke it has given liver fluke that is a platyel minthus so they are bilaterally symmetrical but they are they do not have celo okay pseudo celo itself it is starting from ascal minthus before that only platyel minthus uh, phylum will come platyel minthus they do not have the uh, celo next question brown algae is characterized by the presence of brown algae it is characterized by the presence of the brown pigment fucosanthin uh, there will be chlorophyll a c and fucosanthin in the brown algae this hematochrome hematochrome is the color pigment which is present in the um, uh, so in certain algae during intense light okay phycoerythrin it is present in the case of red algae phycocyanin that is seen in the case of uh, cyanobacteria okay so here the correct option is fucosanthin next question the classification of algae is based on majorly it is based on the color pigment and it is also based on the reserve food and type of uh, uh, sorry nature of cell wall material so here the correct option it is all of the above if they have given four options separately four different types of option not all the above then you have to consider the prime character which is used for classification of algae is the type of pigment okay next question hippocampus or sea horse that belongs to the class that belongs to the class the bony fishes bony fishes are nothing but ostic thighs okay so here this hippocampus it is a vertically swimming organism okay this hippocampus it has a pouch like a uh, pouch like structure which is present in the abdominal region of male fishes okay and that pouch we will call as brood pouch the egg it will be collected in the pouch and uh, the fertile egg also will be collected here because of that they will be just uh, releasing the young one when it is hatching out so we will say that is a secondary vivipary so ostic thighs where the hippocampus show the secondary vivipary remember that okay next question saurus bearing leaf of pteridium is called as saurus is nothing but its sporangia sporangia cluster is called as saurus it the saurus bearing uh, leaf is called as the sporophyll what is this ramenda ramenda is a small hair like structure when the leaf is present when the leaf the leaf of fern when it is in the young stage that is called as ramenda that will help in reducing the injury and all. and we can see the next uh, indusium indusium is nothing but the covering of the saurus sporous it is sporangium it is covered by or sporous it is covered by after the spore mother cell when it undergo meiotic division this indusium it will break open and it will dehis that spores out okay so here the correct option it is uh, the um, uh, the correct uh, correct option it is sporophyll next question floridian starch is found in floridian starch is a stored food in rhodophyce okay chlorophyce they will store food in the form of starch and uh, uh, this cyanophages and all it will be producing the food in the form of the starch gra uh, 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 star, uh, starch granules okay sorry this mix of phyce that is nothing but cyanophyce okay cyanophyce means uh, the cyanobacteria it is called as mixophyce because uh, cyanophyce we are calling cyanobacteria cyanophyce because of that uh, uh, phycocyanin okay mixophyce is called because they have some mucilaginous covering around this cyanobacteria because of that we will call as mixophyce and cyanophages are nothing but the virus which is giving infection to cyanobacteria okay next question dichotomous branching is found in dichotomous branching that is a characteristic feature of liverworts okay that is a characteristic feature of liverworts so here dichotomous branching means if the 
the branch if it is like this when it reaches to the tip it will be divided into two so this is a characteristic feature of lower orga lower plants as fungus uh, bryophyte uh, etc so here we can see in the case of bryophyte we can see this liver wort it will be having this dichotomous branching liver wort like rixia porella marcantia these all show okay so here that both option has given liver worts and marcantia so in this case you have to select liver worts mostly they will not give both the options together if they are giving both the options together then you should understand it is a general character of uh, liver words okay so here the correct option is 2 next question even though we are writing marcantia that is not wrong but as this liver word is given here this is the correct option for us okay next question match the column and choose the correct combination polyketa polyketa an example for polyketa is neris we have studied examples for annelid as neris earthworm leeches etc right so here there are different types of uh, uh, different classes of this phylum uh, annelid that is uh, polyketa oligoketa and uh, um, uh, hirudinia okay so here this polyketa is neris which has parapodia structure oligoketa it is ferritima or earthworm and uh, leeches they are uh, this one uh, hirudinia Oh, hir uh, hir hirudinia okay so that three classes we have to remember okay because uh, see pol when they are saying near is near is as it is given example we should understand which class it is coming under Trematoda. It is not Termatoda. It is Trematoda. Trematoda that comes under the, uh, under Platyelminthes. Platyelminthes is also divided into uh, uh, three different uh, classes. Majorly, it is divided into three different classes. Okay, those three different classes it include the Terbellaria, Trematoda, and Cestoda. Terbellaria that is uh, free living, uh, planaria, uh, trematoda that is fluke. Okay, so here trematoda example for that is liver fluke. So liver fluke example it has given in our textbook no fasciola or uh, uh, liver fluke. So we should know liver fluke it comes under trematoda. Cestoda tapeworm. Okay, so here tapeworm also has given tinea that comes under cestoda. Cestoda and all it will be completely uh, internal parasite. So endoparasite. So they do not have have the uh, digestive system arachnida arachnida that is a uh, um, uh, group of arthropoda okay a class of arth arthropoda and arachnida an example it is scorpion so scorpion example it has given in our textbook so we should know which class of that uh, um, arthropoda this ara uh, scorpion comes that is in arachnida gastropoda gastropoda it is seen in the uh, mollusca uh, pila pila that is an example for this gastropoda okay means their legs it will be seen in the um, uh, 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 stomach region okay so here the correct option it is a s b r c p d q okay so two is the correct option here next question diaphragm is found in diaphragm that is a characteristic feature of mammal okay so here the diaphragm it is present in kangaroo because snake it is a reptile ostrich ostrich it is bird crocodile it is a reptile next one coral belongs to the phylum corals that is coming under the phylum cnidarians okay phylum cnidaria where the corals are coming vessels are not present in the xylem vessels are not present in the xylem of vessels it is not present in the xylem of gymnosperm and pteridophyte okay so here gymnosperm pteridophyte both are correct option so here most of the gymnosperm and pteridophyte one option if it is there that you have to select okay some gymnosperm they have vessels next question siphonogamous fertilization take place in siphonogamy siphonogamy is nothing but the male gamete will reach to the female gamete through the pollen tube that is called as siphonogamy siphonogamous type of uh, uh, fertilization it is seen in the case of angiosperms as well as in 
the case of gymnosperm. So here the correct option is pinus because pinus is an angiosperm. Fern is a pteridophyte, selaginella, pteridophyte, bryophyte. Okay, so in selaginella, pteridophyte. Next option I said bryophyte. Okay, so here the correct option is pinus. Next one. Frog is called as amphibians because they will live in both water as well as in land. Those kind of organisms we will call as amphibians. Okay, so this is all about this 90 questions. If you have any doubt in this, you can ask me and hope this is explained uh, uh, with correct explanation means uh, proper explanation it has given if anything is lagging you can ask me i'll explain once uh, once again that particular question okay